you're going to get to go along with us for our day today. We're starting out this morning with a walk with Priscilla and Presley to get them some exercise and energy out before we leave them behind and take a nice motorcycle ride. And then uh, after we get them back, we're going to head down to um, Chester, Illinois and Kaskaskia, Illinois. We're going to hit the yes. Chester, yes. Illinois which is the hometown of Popeye, or at least the hometown of the person who wrote the Popeye strips, I believe, Chester, Illinois. And then we're going to just cross the river there at Chester, Illinois, and come back up a little bit to Kaskaskia, Illinois. Kaskaskia, Illinois is the only town in Illinois that's on the west side of the Mississippi River. And that's stop four on Gateway Harley. Oh, I challenge for 2020. So we're going to stop there and take some pictures at the Liberty Bell there in Kaskaskia. This one's ready. The other one is downstairs. I have walked this street a thousand times or more and I hope that I still do when I'm born. Here memories fade in front of me I see them. We stopped by our good friend Brian's house. He always has a dummy out on the uh, porch. Dummy's well known in the neighborhood. His name is Manny. So what are you doing to occupy your time with all this craziness? Not a lot. Patio parties? Yeah, I put my sign back up. I took it down yesterday because of the rain. I like the sign.
off road on our way to Chester, Illinois. This road's, it's kind of flat. It's not hilly like the roads in Missouri. It's got some curves, but it basically goes right along the floodplain of the Mississippi River. And then you got these bluffs over here along the side the whole way you're going. So it's a pretty cool ride so far. We're gonna continue on down to Chester, Illinois and say hi to Popeye. So this is the home of Popeyes. The, the creator of Popeyes? Yeah, the creator of Popeyes, I guess. Oh, oh, still Interesting. <laughs> well, I can't find Popeye. We need to find Popeye. Oh, there's, there's an olive oil and Popeye up on top of the steeple. All right, let's go down there.
been around a while, haven't you? Kaskaskia, Illinois, which is stop number four on the Gateway 2020 Challenge for the Gateway Harley-Davidson Harley Owners Group. This is the Liberty Bell of the West. It's got a nice little button here. You can't actually go in, but you push the button. And voila, nothing. There we go. The door opens. The door opens. There's a little audio you can here you can push the button here the audio that tells you all about the bell we're going to continue on back to our home but there's a nice little stop here in Kaskaskia, illinois
what's his name? Max. Hi, Max. Max. Hi, Max. Hi, Max. The mystery Max. solved. We know where you're from now. Well, I'm glad him and Priscilla are <laughs> That was a good no. catch, babe. Thanks. A little help, honey. <laughs> All right, so we're back from the ride. And when we got back, our neighbor told us that they thought our dog, their dog was in our house. That little uh, tan dog, we had a little tan dog in our yard yesterday when it was raining. We didn't know whose it was. It turns out it was our neighbor's and it came in today. We leave the back door open while we're gone in our backyard for Presley and Priscilla to go out when we're gonna be gone for five or six hours. And so uh, this little dog just came in and had a little party in our house. No damage, doesn't appear, just a fun little. Can you do anything in here, baby? I don't think so, I don't see anything in here. There's up here on the main level. Came in our house, had a party in the neighbor's well, see, house. How great would that have been to get on life? Yeah, I know, that would have been great. Nobody told us that, I guess, but you know, it's, still, it's still broadcasting, but they just deleted it. So, yeah, so th that's the thing. So we, we, set up our, uh, we set up our live sessions on our YouTube while we're gone so we can keep an eye on the dogs. And we got to Chester, Illinois, about two hours from here. I looked, and it was good. I looked 10 minutes later, and it said, look, your live was ended. And then I got a... Uh, a notice from YouTube saying that somebody had complained animal cruelty. So they took the video down. I guess uh, it's animal cruelty now. You leave your dogs at home for three or four hours. So I don't know what that's all about. But other than that, the ride was pretty good. What'd you think, dear? I think it's hilarious that I came walking up from the basement and a little dog barks at me because I'm in my own home. <laughs> As soon as she said, do you have a doggy door? I was like, uh... Yeah. <laughs> we have a doggy door. We do. <laughs> I'm not saying that, but... Yeah. So, um, what'd yeah. you think about the ride? I thought it was a nice ride. It's Chester, Illinois. Day. What was your favorite part of the ride? <clears throat> um... Any place that was just nice. Yeah. Cruising. It, I don't it was think all, it, it was all nice. It was it was a nice ride. It was a beautiful day. We were going to a specific destination, which was the Liberty Bell of the West in Kaskaskia, and we made a stop in Chester, Illinois, to see the creator's home That's of Popeye. Um, so that was kind of cool. It's just a, they're both Kaskaskia is not even really a town. It's just an area. No, there was. It was just a church. Just a church and that Liberty Bell. Um, it, but this yeah, was a, it was established a long, long time ago. So uh, not too long, I don't think, after St. Genevieve. Um, and St. Yeah, Genevieve. Yeah, so, okay, I guess that was my favorite little town. St. Genevieve town? Yeah. Horrible town. Yeah, so Chester, Chester, Illinois is an okay town because of Popeye. I guess it's an old, it's an old town. It would probably be fun if it was open, I guess, maybe, and there was some of the places we could have went to, well, but there wasn't much there. I feel like it was a... Yeah, it wasn't like St. Genevieve where it was like just yeah. these unique, yeah. beautiful, historical buildings that weren't tore down, um, beautiful homes. Yeah, I'm Saint... not talking fancy, I'm just talking... No. It was just, it had a really cute vibe, charm about it. Yeah, we didn't really plan on going to St. Genevieve. Since we were right there, we drove through it. Um, and St. Genevieve is the oldest established town. S settled, right? Well, settlement, yeah, settlement, I guess. 
Did it say in the U.S. or in Missouri? Missouri. In Missouri? Yes. Um, of course, it wouldn't be in the U.S., duh. That would have been over where they landed, right? So the old, oldest settlement in the state of Missouri, I think it was around 1735, 1737. Kaskaskia was not too far behind that. So both of these towns, not too far apart, were um, unique. The unique thing about Kaskaskia is it's the only Illinois town west of the Mississippi River. So it's actually on the Missouri side, but the border comes over here, just right around that little town, Kaskaskia. Um, and then the rest of <laughs> Missouri is Missouri, I guess. <laughs> Duh. All right, and then Cape Girard, we'll have to go back there and explore that town because what? like she said, Cape Girard. St. Genevieve. St. Genevieve, not Cape Girard. I was like, we Cape. St. <laughs> Genevieve. We're gonna to have to go back it's and the first time tour that we've town. Been through it. I've never been there. I lived here all my life. My mom and dad used to do craft shows and stuff in the town. It's kind of like Kimswick on steroids, I think, right? Kimswick, which we go yeah, to. Yeah, I mean Kimswick is cute. But this, this. Yeah, this is really adorable. Has... And they've actually got a river ferry there that we're gonna to have to put the bikes on some ride and take across the ferry. So. Yeah, mental note: Why are those people just pulled over on the road? To watch the train? I don't know. It was the truck when we came the through. The one and... I had to move around almost hit that pot. I know, I know. I don't know. Jeez. Anything else about a ride today that was interesting? Um, Bob's drive-in. Oh, is Bob's drive-in. That's right. Bob's drive-in. It's for sale. We've been there a few times, but it's been years ago when we lived in Imperial, close to ten years <clears> ago, <throat> and uh, the food didn't disappoint again, and the shakes no. were fantastic. And it's for sale, so Chris is thinking we need to buy Bob's drive-in. I'm not so sure about that, but um, no. We okay. sold a coffee shop so we could have the lifestyle we have now. But I'm not so sure seasonal, we want. seasonal, and it's mm -hmm. way better. Yeah, it is seasonal, so. I mean, it's got a drive-through. But I would rather We've buy a, machine a property or two to do Airbnb. That's just paths of income. You don't have to work that hard. Yeah, I don't have to work up. at all. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so that's today. I don't have anything else to say. Hi. Gateway, Gateway Hog, ride number four in the books. What and was the covered bridge? What number was that? The covered bridge is not on there. There's a covered bridge. That is, there's a different covered bridge, not the no, one that we the, saw today. No, the one Chester. that we went to. What number was oh, that? Oh, that was number three, I believe. Okay. I'm not exactly sure. All right. Oh. I already did a video on that one, though. But there's another covered bridge on the list, but it's there out. There it is. It was over there in Chester. No, there's another covered bridge on the list that is west, out yeah, towards Lake of the Ozarks. Didn't Chester say that they had a covered Chester bridge? Chester has, a, but it's not on the gateway list. I don't care about it. I was just asking about it. I was talking about the, All right, I'm going to shut this down. I was just talking about gateway. <laughs> She's throwing off my mojo. Oh, yeah. Break. It's always my fault. Yep.